What's going on guys? Today I've got five more brand new Cydia tweaks of August. The first one I've got for you guys is called Snipenizer for Safari. It's $1.99 and it comes from the Big Boss repo. However, you can get this tweak from other repos for free. So what Snipenizer will allow you to do, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, Snipenizer, Snipenizer, something like that is it'll change the way that you can actually browse or navigate in Safari. So regularly, if you want to go to expose mode or switch between your tabs and whatnot, you would just press that little button in the bottom right corner there. But with Snipenizer, you can actually allow gestures. So for example, if I want to go up and right, that'll take me to the right hand tab. So as you can see, now I'm furthest to the right. Uh, if I go to the left, up and left, that'll take me to the left hand tab. So you can just keep doing this for as many tabs as you have open. Um, and it's pretty accurate as far as sensing your uh, gestures and you can change the sensitivity as well. Um, also what it'll allow you to do is uh, if you go down left for example, that'll just take you into uh, your expose mode. Down right will close the tab so then you only have two. So you can change these gestures if you want, it's completely customizable. You can change it however you want so you can go to the left tab, go to the right tab, go to the first tab, last tab. You can close the active tab and then jump to the left, close the active tab and then jump to the right. You can go to expose mode when you close the tab. You can close the tab while you're in expose mode. So a whole list of different options. The cool thing here is you can actually run your own JavaScript as well. I'm not going to change it to that, but you can run your own JavaScript as you can see here. So that way you can actually set what JavaScript you want. So if you know coding, if you know JavaScript, you can go ahead and change that to whatever you want as long as it's compatible with the Safari web browser on your iPhone or iPod touch. Uh, then you can run the JavaScript. So check it out, Snipenizer for Safari. Alright, so the next tweak I've got for you guys today is called Icon Commands. It's $1.99 from the Big Boss repo, and you can get this tweak from other repos for free. So once you've got Icon Commands installed, you want to just jump into Settings and scroll down to Icon Commands here. And you want to keep the top two settings enabled. Now what you can do is you can, it's basically like an activator for your actual uh, applications. So what you can do is you can actually set it. So one tap I've got launch the application. With two taps you can show the info. Um, and you can just set these to however you like it. This is the way I like to do it. Two taps set the info. Three taps. Let's go into delete. There we go. Four taps. Let's hide it. Five taps. And I'll show you how uh, all of these work. You can go into Google search and you can do whatever you want. You can add the icon to the photo library, which is kind of cool. So you can actually save the application icon. You can go into the jiggling mode. You can launch it. You can respring, all that kind of thing. But uh, here's what you want to do here. Let's demonstrate with the YouTube. So with one, it'll actually put a counter on there. So it shows that you've tapped it once and it'll launch the application. Two taps, it counts to two and it gives you some uh, information about the application here so it gives you the app ID and it actually gives you the path you can find the application through iFile with which is kinda cool so you can actually choose to go through iFile and that'll just take you to your uh, YouTube folder so it should just go through the library all the applications and just go to the YouTube folder so this is kinda where everything for the YouTube application is stored three taps if you, it'll just count to three there and then you can delete it but obviously you can't delete the apps that are built in four taps one two three four you can actually hide it so that'll go and respring and then once it's resprung uh, the YouTube application will have disappeared which is kind of cool if you want to do that for whatever applications you want to hide uh, and so on and so forth so five taps you can go into Google search you can search anything whatever I'll just search something random in Google and it'll open your Safari and actually go ahead and uh, go straight to the search which is a kind of neat application so that way you don't actually have to have a built-in widget to search from uh, your springboard you can just tap it however many times you have it set to and search Google straight from your springboard which is kinda neat um, again so on and so forth overall a pretty cool uh, new application you can have some fun with this one and set things and customize it so yeah check it out it's called icon commands from the big boss repo so the next application I've got for you guys today is called Vibrifications. It's a hefty $3.99 from the Big Boss repo, but guess what? Yeah, you can get it from other repos for free. What this will allow you to do, uh, you want to just launch settings once you've installed it and just scroll down till you get to Vibrifications in your settings. Um, as you can see, there's lots of different settings, lots of different preferences that you can customize and whatnot. But if you just go into Preferences, uh, you can pretty much set any kind of anything that you got a push notification for. So 
um, I'll show you here. So for me, I've got Google Plus as well. Um, I'm not sure what normal or stage does, but you can just go ahead and click normal if you're not sure. So you can set a different ringtone or vibration pattern for any of the applications that gives you push notifications. So for example, I'll just open up the mail settings there, just go default. So you can actually set a ringtone to it. So you can set a built-in ringtone if you want one of the built-in ringtones here. If you go back, you can set a custom ringtone. So if you have any other ringtones that you downloaded, you can set them from there. This here is the setting that I like the most, the ringer. You can set the vibration duration here. So anywhere from one sec, actually anywhere from a tenth of a second all the way up to two seconds. So for example, Facebook, let's say I want it to not give me a ringtone, which is default. You can set it anywhere from one vibration all the way to 10 vibrations. Let's set the duration down a little bit to about a half a second there. So that'll sound a bit like this. So with this application, you can really distinguish what push notifications you're getting if your phone's in your pocket or if you don't have the ringtones on or whatever the situation is, uh, you can distinguish what push notifications you're getting and from where. So really nice application, really nice tweak from Cydia for $3.99 from the Big Boss repo. Check this one out. It's called Vibrifications. All right, so the next tweak I've got for you guys is called Double At from the Big Boss repo, and this one is absolutely free. So with the Double At application, you can, again, set this one in the settings application here and just scroll down till you get to Double At. All right, so here it is there. So what this tweak will allow you to do is just uh, set your email, the email that you use most often. So let's just say my email is test123 at gmail.com ah uh, horrible there we go alright so once you've set your email there you can just go back alright so I'll just open the notes application just to demonstrate and I'll make a new note so basically once your keyboard is open here just go to the at symbol and if you just double tap the at symbol it puts in your email address so this can come in very handy if you're signing up for something on your safari on your iphone or ipod touch um, or even if you're in the mail application um, let's say you're sending an email to yourself and you don't have yourself added as a contact um, then this uh, tweak will definitely come in handy. So definitely a cool little tweak. Check it out. It's free from the Big Boss repo. It's called Double At. All right, so the last tweak I've got for you guys today is called Home Button in Safari. This one's 99 cents from the Big Boss repo. And again, you can find it from other repos for free. So what this will do, it's fairly simple. Once you've installed it, all you have to do is go into Safari here and just go into the Share button here and go home and it'll just take you to whatever application you've set for your home page so you'll be able to go into settings and set your home button um, now don't be deceived I know that the name of the application is called home button in Safari but you'll have to scroll till you get to the S's and click on Safari home button to change that home button um, and you can set it to anything you want so let's set it to jailbreakcity.com why not all right so just hit return all right so just open up your safari there and let's open share and go home and that will take you directly to my website where you get a whole bunch of updates on tweaks and themes and all the latest from Cydia. Check it out. Make it your homepage, jailbreakcity.com. So this application, again, 99 cents from the Big Boss repo and you can get it from other repos for free. It's called Home Button in Safari. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video if this video helped you or you liked any of the Cydia tweaks or applications. Subscribe for more videos and that way, every time I make a new video, you get it directly to your subscriptions, homepage, and YouTube. Uh, make sure to check out the website at jailbreakcity.com. I'll have the link right here or in the description below. Uh, so thanks for watching again guys and I'll see you next time. Peace.